listening to a lot of DJ Screw and sort of Vaporwave remixes of songs and sort of getting into the way uh, things sounded when they were slowed down a bunch and had a sort of a syrupy kind of sexy quality to it, just making everything just kind of like because I think that's an interesting sound. We can cut there, move on. So I created a yeah, really simple drum pattern. And so I just layered a bunch of keyboards on top of each other. Some of them are pads and some of them are more percussive and just to kind of create a musical bed to do my vocalizations on top of. Zach Colwell did a bunch of really cool stuff in the choruses for this one. Did uh, some fair light, some flutes, double reed, but he did this really cool thing. We slowed saxophone down a bunch and so it kind of sounds like a baritone sax. So yeah, it's definitely influenced by some vaporwave stuff like Macintosh Plus, something that would have felt futuristic in the 80s maybe, to me, to my ears. The most interesting part of the song is the little thing that happens after each chorus, this thing. Lots of stuff happening in this section. Uh, I like, really like <clears throat> this, what's happening with these like little melody lines. Like this little bass melody line. <laughs> this little whistle sound. Did different things with the synthesizers. So initially I had them all just kind of playing the chords together and then just sort of chopped them all up and faded them out and in at different points and did that kind of a uh, pitch bending thingy. It's kind of cool when things just sort of drift away and then sort of like slowly come back again. stuff then I did this little guitar things. A little 
little textures, little touches. I'll play you just the drums for that section. <laughs> that Zach does in this part, I think, really makes it this kind of like weird animal sound, kind of injured animal, scared animal sounds. I just wanted it to have a sort of like strut ending, like the song is just sort of like strutting into the sunset or something. Zach just sent me a sax solo at the end of everything. I could have just had it be the solo sax solo, but I actually wrote the groove around the sax solo. This is what he sent me initially. That was just the end of the song. <laughs> So good, but I felt like it needed uh, some extra stuff, some some rhythmic stuff to go underneath it. So I added this bass guitar. <laughs> Writing the circles. Thank you for watching. <laughs>